Oh. Hello? Hello? If anyone can hear me, I've finished sleeping. <laughs> Sweetheart, before we part, can I just say this? The precious time we've spent together, the, the wild and passionate love we have for each other, have affected me in ways that only a skilled acrobat could really experience. <laughs> I mean, that trick you do with a melon in your musket is just wonderful. <laughs> but as you leave for America to boldly fight whoever it is you're boldly fighting there at the moment, please remember this. If on a dark and windswept morn, you should find yourself in a boggy ditch with half your head shot off and, <laughs> and your brains dripping from a nearby tree and you're totally and utterly dead, yes. it matters not because there will always be a place in my heart lovingly inscribed with the name Dominic. Didier. Didier, Didier. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I always forget that, yeah. <laughs> I thought Didier was the blonde one, actually. That's Vic 12. Oh, is it? Oh, right. So who's the other one I had, then, with the lovely, big, gorgeous, bulgy thighs? Who was that? Julian. Oh, yeah, right. Julian Desir, yeah, he was the best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's a right raver, isn't he? <laughs> Look, I've got a dash now, though. All right, thanks. Bye, though. Bye. Oh, God, bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye. under control, she's back. <laughs> yes. At the risk of sounding grossly pertinent, might one ask where you are back from? Well, officially, I was visiting my aged father in aix dans la jambe <laughs> Unofficially, of course, I was round the corner in the army barracks having two days of solid rumpo. <laughs> <sighs> I trust there have been no difficulty in my absence, as we say here in 18th century France. <laughs> Um, yes. I am waking expensive all the months. <laughs> oh, my God, what? What, what? Perhaps I should explain. As you know, many of our valiant and beautifully turned out fighting men... Steady. ...are currently embarking for America. Naturally, I would love to go and die with them, but I feel it my duty to stay here and sew frocks for victory. <laughs> Now, since I had no idea you would be off comforting the troops in your own special way, I made a brief journeyette to wave a hanky for France myself. The upshot being that while you were away, I was also not entirely here. And Madame was left to fend for herself. <laughs> Mistress, rise and shine. I'll just go and get your fork. Brunette! Tragic blunder, I know. Forgive me, I can't... Do you know how long I have been waiting to get up? I know, I know. Three days! <laughs> <laughs> I very nearly dressed myself. A tragedy, tragedy, mistress. I've said it before. What is the point in having servants, servants if they all just bugger off whenever it takes their fancy? fancy. Yes. <laughs> if I might offer a... Then <laughs> what's that man rope to a barrel and cast adrift off the coast of Lesbos? <laughs> you know, what, what if there had been a fire? You know? I know. I would have been burnt to a crisp. <laughs> I'd just be a, a small pile of teeth and a smoky black smudge on the ceiling now, wouldn't I? <laughs> yes. You see that vase? What, this one? Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, the Countess de Vache, intimate friend of His Majesty King Louis the 14th, 15th, 16th. 16th. <laughs> I, who are a very aristocratic personages, have had to squat on that box. <laughs> I think I've almost certainly killed the daffodils. They're not the happiest of blooms, no. 
Still, everything is now pret a oh. So, <laughs> if Madame would care to rise. Uh, no, no, well, what time is it? Well, it's ten of the o'clock. So I can't now, can I? No one of my status gets up before one of the o'clock at the earliest. <laughs> well, that is true, yes. Is that breakfast still edible? No? Well, the uh, maggots seem to think so. Yeah. Uh, I'll have some of that. Don't throw it away. All right. I'll have some of that. But I think now I should just uh, just rest. I yes, think. you yes. should. You're exhausted, aren't yes, you? I That's am. it, dear. You go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Is that? Yeah. Make sure I, I'm not disturbed. That's I don't want any right. disturbance. And I'm... sleep. <laughs> I did not say your mistress was plain, sir. She'd have to be much more attractive to be plain. Who <laughs> insults my mistress insults me, la biche? Well, there is little difference between you, sir. <laughs> Except, of course, the Comtesse de Vache's legs are hairier. As Madame de Plonge's couturier, I have to tell you, her thighs are smooth as silk. Of course they are, love. They're always rubbing up against someone's moustache. Oh, well, <laughs> speaking of moustaches, sir, has your mistress shaved hers off yet? <laughs> Be on your guard, sir. We shall meet again. <laughs> Minty ponce. Monsieur Buffon! <laughs> My, how unhappy you seem. Something of a sexual nature, possibly. No, no. Or perhaps you're simply upset your mistress has lost her entire fortune and will shortly have to leave the palace and live among all the poor people, whom God loves above all others and therefore gave them leprosy so they'd have less chance of catching syphilis. Excuse me, the Comtesse de Vash has lost her fortune? In a wager. With the Marquise de Foufou. Oh, everyone is quite distraught. My dear Maman de Planche had tears rolling down her face from what can only be described as a sympathetic bout of hysterical laughter. <laughs> To the best of my memory, no wager with the Marquise de Fufu. <laughs> you do not realise, sir, that my mistress abhors gambling. I do! And don't tell me she doesn't, because I have seen her abhorring it in many, many gambling houses. <laughs> and if my entire fortune is forfeit, where is the evidence? There is none. None whatsoever at all, none. Oh, does the Marquise have in her possession anything attesting to this supposed wager? No. <laughs> no, she does not. Nothing. Has she, for instance, a legally binding document, perhaps? Signed by Madame's personal hand? Sealed with her very own cross swords and rampant cow? <laughs> no. No? Yes. Yes, she does. <laughs> she does. She's got the evidence. Well, says who? Who says that? Who, 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 who? She does. She says it herself. She lies. That is an ugly and despicable <laughs> lie. Well, I'm afraid she's shown it to rather a lot of people. Oh, oh. she has, has she? Oh, she has, has she? <laughs> then there is only one thing for it. One thing, that's all there is for it. I shall have to go back on the game, and my mistress will have to slit her own throat until all the blood is spurting no. out. No, that is not the thing, that is not. <laughs> we shall go to the Marquise and demand to see the document. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the Marquise de Foufou's apartments are in the West Wing. This second way. Floor. <laughs> right, madame. And then off to the right here. <laughs> Reverse your mistress, Labiche. <laughs> Madame de Plange reverses for no one, sir. <laughs> My dear Columbine, so sad to hear about your financial embarrassment. If I can help out with a small loan, please feel free to grovel, plead or beg. <laughs> I'm happy to say, Madame de Plange, that my fortune is still my own. Not to mention a hundred times bigger than yours. <laughs> <laughs> Labiche, Labiche. Bouffant, bouffant. Pull in, sir. Pull in, or we shall run you down. Reverse, sir. Aye, sir. <laughs> you see, it's just this kind of hanky flapping that gives people like us a bad name. Oh, is it? <laughs> well, how about this thing? Oh, 
Ah! Yeah, there just aren't enough hours in my life for this much mincing. <laughs> I hope nothing is horribly wrong. <laughs> Hello, my dear. It's only me. Do you know, I can sense something is horrifyingly, abominably amiss. I'm going in. Does that come on door? Door? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Gigi. It's just me. Come to check that nothing grim and gruesomely untoward has happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, look! Oh, she's dead! Oh, she's dead! Oh, dear! Oh, poor she is! Oh, look! Who would have thought she had so much in her? Such a tiny woman! Oh, thing. Well, there's a, a mystery we'll probably never, ever get to the bottom of. <laughs> so lunch, I think, don't you, Lizette? <laughs> A small salad or something. Right, salad, yes. No, no beetroot. No, and no tomatoes. They're quite reminiscent, aren't they? Well, shouldn't we raise the alarm? Raise the alarm? Is it worth it? I mean, it's obviously a sort of suicide. It's definitely <laughs> suicide. <laughs> suicide? It's the old sad story, monsieur. Woman no longer in the flower of her youth. It's a frigid, apparently. It's frigid. Frigid and <laughs> lesbian, possibly? Yeah, yes, <laughs> Lesbian, which in future years will come to be regarded as a perfectly acceptable alternative yeah, lifestyle, absolutely. but in these dark times is simply a cabaret act on a Friday night in the Coach and Horses. <laughs> I'm so depressed and, and dare I say it, <laughs> pug-nosed. She sinks into a bottomless well. Yes. of pug-nosed, frigid, lesbianic despair, <laughs> as you would. Grabs an axe and chops herself into these... these 14-ish pieces. <laughs> it's the classic suicide scenario. I see no problem. Always. It's murder. Anyone can see. The woman looks like a steak tartare. What do you want me to do about it, monsieur? Put her back together? <laughs> Compared to what she used to look like, this is the equivalent of a makeover. I must insist on informing the proper authorities. <laughs> she won't thank you when they all come and throw up on her carpets. <laughs> Might this not be an opportune moment to chercher le document? What? To look for the document. Oh, don't worry about that. No, to be on the safe side, come on. Yeah, you won't find anything, I'm positive. Goodbye. I have another theory. Oh, how dreadful it must have been. Of course, you must promise not to upset me with all the grisly, revolting details. Well, I'm sure I should swoon. Or vomit. <laughs> Probably both. <laughs> Although, I suspect if one's swooning and one's breakfast shoots violently out of one's mouth and nose, <laughs> things run to one's senses. <laughs> have you heard that? I'm rather upset at the moment. Then I must cheer you up with some light conversation. Was the corpse hideously decayed or merely in the first stages of putrefaction? <laughs> it only lasts because she was carried out in six buckets. <laughs> the important thing is you promptly inform the authorities. Yes, yes, I did. And at this early stage of inquiries, does the finger of suspicion point to any particular evil, corrupt and depraved person? <laughs> Ideally, of course, I'm looking for a job in the domestic sector. <laughs> you know, gentlemen's play thing, something like that. So if you hear of something, I mean, obviously, I'm going to stay with Madame until all hope is lost, so anything after Friday should be perfect. <laughs> Madame! I'm happy to say everyone is rooting for you. Big, huge loyalty coming your way. Have you seen these? Yes. <laughs> Zion! I know. Zion shackles! With my skin tone. Oh, <laughs> ridiculous. 
Dat is halve wol. Hm? Monsieur, I am a countess. I took my aunt to be chained to a nicer wall. <laughs> Did you bring it? Yes, I brought it. Yeah. Oh, hurry up, hurry up. No time to waste. Oh, oh, oh. Mad. oh I know. I mean, they say the rack's inhumane, but you try slipping these for hours on end. Oh. <laughs> one is supposed to do one's business. I don't know. Am I a beast, monsieur, that I must stand here with groaning underwear? <laughs> Calmez-vous, mistress, for I have managed to obtain the key to your manacles. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Excellent. I put it down here. Oh, quickly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You know when you was like down there earlier, you didn't find a key, did you? No? You sure? Oh, you dirty little bugger. <laughs> oh, I see, he's a devil, that one. He's got a lovely oh, yeah. bottom, though. I'd like to bite it. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> there. Ah, oh, madame. Oh. I, I was hoping I might catch you in. What do you want? Well, feeling as one does at Tad responsible for your present predicament, and given that you might, one hopes and prays, beat the rap. I would like to present you with a small token of my personal... Bitch! Bitch! Yes, thank you, and inform you that... Murdering snot rag! Evil and venomous lump of cockerel shit! Everyone is rooting for your flag! Oh, is that enough, dear? We shall be late for mass. Oh, my goodness, say we shall. Come on, the set, the set. Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, munger. There. I don't, oh, I've never mungered a whore in my life. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a munger one, even if she, she had a, a sign around her neck saying mungering a speciality. Yes, expert mungery. I mean, does everyone think I'm guilty? No, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Lots of people are prepared to reserve judgment. Oh. Just as so long as your head gets chopped off. Oh. <laughs> uh, is that the petition for my release? Yes, 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 it is, madame, yes. Uh -huh. I did as you instructed and went round the palace. Oh. As you can see, there was an overwhelming oh. response. Yes, plenty of names. Yes, yeah. if a list of names will secure your freedom, oh. we've got names. Oh, well <laughs> oh, let me yeah. look. No, no, no. no. Oh, sorry. Brandy and Misty and Old Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Friends of yours, no doubt. Oh, great, Smokey. Merry legs. <laughs> Merry legs. <laughs> Is that these names? Are, uh, oh, mainly uh, horses, madame. <laughs> yes, but they all love you and they're very upset. Well, it's a giddy up and stinker. Yes, both <laughs> angrily refusing their oats in sympathy. Well, there are no people. People, madame? How do you mean people? Important personages. Oh, humans? Yes, archbishops, popes, anyone unaccustomed to nose bags and having an arm shoved up the backside. <laughs> I shouldn't think so. Not amongst the clergy, no. <laughs> What's the matter with people? I know your secrets! I mean, do they not fear me? My tongue is a cocked weapon. <laughs> do they not quiver with dread at the scandal I might disclose if I'm not released immediately? I think they do, yes. <laughs> well, what are they going to do about it? <laughs> I must compliment you on your dungeon, monsieur. How gratifying to know that when it comes to a nauseating stink, we French really lead the way. <laughs> I was wondering if Madame was awake yet? Oh, you mean is the murdering bitch awake yet? Yes, that's the one. Yeah. She's having breakfast. Now, there's lots of fish bits in this. <laughs> so if you get a bone stuck, just say... <laughs> what more? You want more? <laughs> there we go. Ah, Madame. You're looking... well. <laughs> Madame is not at all well. In fact, she caught a very nasty head cold last night, didn't you, lover? <laughs> See? <laughs> See? I hear she has elected to conduct her own defence. Oh, she most certainly has. And I'm sure she will prove her innocence to everyone's complete satisfaction. 
so long as nobody mentions the axe. <laughs> axe? Anyone as interested in forestry as my mistress would be bound to have a very large blood-stained axe wrapped up in a sack under their mattress. We have decided that this little piece of evidence is not relevant to the case. And since you are the one responsible for Madame's sojourn here, we have decided you are the one to get rid of it. I'm sure you have no end of friends in need of a big chopper. <laughs> <laughs> mistress, mistress. She can't hear me. Mistress. No word from Monsieur Buffon, but he's on his way. Courage. Those lovely bulgy thighs. It's Julien! Oh. I am the investigating officer, madame, Julien Desir. Remove the mask. Do you recollect me, sir? Try and string it out. <laughs> what were your movements on the day of August the 15th? <laughs> well, <laughs> I had a small one in a vase. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He means what was Madame doing all day? Well, I keep telling you I was in bed. <laughs> You were not visited by the Marquise de Foufou? I was, to the best of my memory, not visited. I put it to you, madame, that you then placed your bosoms on a balance to prove they were bigger. <laughs> ridiculous. No, no, no. And when the Marquise did the same, was the counterweight not flung 40 yards out of a window, fatally <laughs> injuring a horse? <laughs> You could have stunned it with a croissant, monsieur. <laughs> Do you suppose that her bosoms were any bigger than mine? I mean, did you ever see the woman? I mean, her co <laughs> Oh, dear, she suddenly fainted. Adjourn. We now turn to... <laughs> we now turn to the day of the crime. Where were you, madame? I was in bed. All day! Oh, give it to me, big boy! <laughs> Pardon? You never left your room, not once, from sunrise to sunset? No! And is there a single person in France, madame, who can vouch for that? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, there is. Oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh. What? <laughs> Asking you to lie, they don't know where you were. You see, that's the whole point. Yeah. They do know where I was, don't they? <laughs> All of them do. I was at them when I with him and him and him and him twice. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you so bloody atrocious. Merci beaucoup. The prisoner will rise. <sighs> I don't think I didn't know every time we went past an army barracks, 400 privates stood to attention. <laughs> Colombine Bet Rancid, Contest of Vash, you have been found guilty. Oh, wait a minute, monsieur. I'm Miss Buffon. I'm about to start my defence. <laughs> I, the Contest of Ash, I've been conducting my own.